Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your girl, my Desire and Jazz in the building. Hey, hey, hey now. What's happening? Listen, <laughs> we just came off of a nice little weekend. I'm going to just go ahead and enjoy it. You know what I mean? Enjoy the coasting into the week. Um, how, how was your weekend? It was relaxing. It was fabulous. Didn't have to go to work. That was the most important thing. Most and important we thing. We don't travel during the high peak season because, you know, they 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 hitting high tax oh, rates true. on everything. <laughs> they, rates on everything. Facts. <laughs> very, very big facts. All right, y'all. So we back. Episode two. Run the World has officially launched season two. Um, and, ooh, child. All right, your girl Whitney up in here doing some raggedy <laughs> shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. She trying to find an outlet of some sort. In this episode, she yes. tatted up. We don't see much of her in this episode, but you know, um, th- that's a first. You know what I mean? When I, when I think about like when you break up and you're going through a rough patch, like I don't think I've ever had any of my friends that went and got tattoos, but I've seen them cut their hair or dye their mm-hmm. hair. Mm-hmm. I mean, getting a tattoo is kind of like a bold move, and you know, she's. She's new to the game of living free right now. I feel like it's a new type of Whitney. It's probably the Whitney we never seen before because she's always been in a relationship. So it's kind of like she's trying to do the first time of everything. Like, let's get a tattoo. It's just like she's just trying to be in this new life that she's um, in right now. She's single. Yeah. You know, she said something about that too. She was just like, you know, who am I trying to look good for? They were working out. I'm single. I know. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think also it's a little bit of um, what they call it, not revenge or rebellion, you know, because she mentioned that Ola didn't like tattoos and so she just never got one. And I thought to myself, like, girl, you better, okay, get that tattoo, but not that tattoo. <laughs> not that <laughs> tattoo that you done got, okay? Get a different tattoo. Um, right, something badass or something, you know, edgy, <laughs> something on the wild side. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. Um, but yeah, we don't see much of her. We do see that Hope comes in. You know, the girls call Hope to come down and like, um, you know, just like rein her in, so to speak. And um, they go to, she decides that she's going to go get her, Hope takes her to get her hair done and her eyebrows. Um, and then, you know, they go to um, trivia night, essentially, and they kick ass in trivia night, and she decides the next day, like, she's going to go back to work. I'm very interested to see what this going back to work is going to look like, because she keeps, it's being delayed too much. It's like a lot of delays. It's like, okay, no, 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 I'm going in the office tomorrow. Yeah. Don't show up. You know, it's just like, she's really avoiding it. But good thing enough, she can work from home. So the bills right. are still getting paid of some sort of fashion. Right. right. I thought that that was interesting because I'm like, well, now that you've gotten this boost, how long is this boost going to last? And are you really going to go back into the office? You know what I mean? And you know, I'm thinking about it too, is that I feel like sometimes we make things bigger than they actually are because we don't know who was going to ask what they might think it. I don't know if people, I mean, some people, black people might be asking them questions, but (laughs) you know, I think that she might be overthinking it and, and kind of like, my prediction is I see her like going into the office and um, bringing it up before other people can. I can see that happening. I can. Or just like she just walks into the office and she just stops everything. It's like, okay, y'all, I'm not married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, the elephant in the room. Let's just get the elephant in the room. I'm not married. Okay. Yeah. I'm single. Don't ask questions. Just let it be. <laughs> that's yeah i'm gonna go with that i feel like that's that's similarly to how it will go um so yeah okay so rolling in we have your girl uh sandy I, i'm not i'm not sure how i feel about this i mean you know just the overall situation of what's going on with sandy how do you feel because i mean you're a mom you have kids right um, so, like, yeah i'm a mom and i mean i feel i feel for both sides because it's like you know naomi's coming the real mom naomi is coming back in and it's just like yeah, I want my time, like, like, let me just get the time that I've missed with my child. Mm-hmm. So as a stepmother figure, you supposed to give that space, but you're so used to this lifestyle of raising someone else's child and having this family of three, right? And then all of a sudden this mysterious character that the stepmom has nothing, like Sandy knows nothing about, just bombards right. and right. just think, oh, okay, whoopsie daisies. You know, I'm back. Like, thanks for taking care, babysitting. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So, I mean, as the mother, I would appreciate the fact that she did take care of my kid during the absence. So I'll commend mm-hmm. her for that. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Now that real mom is back, give her that space to kind of rekindle the love that she's missed with her daughter. I would respect that, you yeah. know? So, But there was a lot of tension going on at the dinner table. And I felt like, Woo. Listen, there was a lot of shade, okay? I was I was just watching and I felt the shade come over me and I'm like, mm. I mean, because Naomi didn't have to say, I feel like she knew what she was doing. You know, you know how you poke the bear and, you, you know, so her comments in regards, to, oh, so now you don't have to worry about splitting your time as much and, you know, you don't have to worry about this and I get what she was saying, but also, like I said, she knew what she was doing. There's a way to say things, but they do that for show purposes, obviously, because you want the drama. Yeah. Um, but but I just I don't, I don't like it. I would have preferred a non headbutting scenario between yeah. two black women and, and and a mom and a, a stepmom situation mm-hmm. because it's something that we see. You know what I mean? So it would have been. I think it would have been a lot better if she was just like, now y'all two can do y'all and, and you know rekindle the love that you guys established as I was away. You right. know, so it's just like let me take my daughter and I'll have her for a few weeks. So that way they can spend time together. And it seemed like Matt was looking forward to that time, you know, right. that like, all right, you know, we can have our space. And you yeah. know. did you so, did you find his comment shady? Because I, I didn't take it as shady. Which one? Like when he first was like, uh, I don't think you can get the TA job or like when? Yeah, the first one where he goes, um, where she was like, when he goes really and she's like, really? Are you surprised? And he was like, no, he was just that, you know, now that. Naomi is back. I figure tomorrow we'll be spending more time with her mom. We, we yeah, we have a, you know. I didn't think that was shady at all. It was just more like I want you now. Like now, it's time right. for us to be like like in college again. Like them, oh, bring the spice back. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I thought I thought I was tripping. I was like, oh, I gotta ask Jazz this because of Sandy's response to him. She was like, well, mm-hmm. I'm not here to be your little fling, and I'm like. Did he mean it that way? Like, I'm confused. Like, hmm, maybe that's why I'm single. I don't know. Because I, I, I didn't do it to me. I think it was just more so like he kind of brushed her role and, okay. you know, like made it like, okay, now we got to spend time together. But this is a this is an opportunity, like a mm-hmm. career path for me. And you kind of like just sidelined me and just said like, oh, right. yeah, now we can spend time together. Like, no, after the summer, honey, right, let me right, get this right. PA position, get yeah. this on my resume. And then we can build, but you brushing the whole like congratulatory. He did brush it off, which is why he made up for it after after dinner, <laughs> giving her the books and telling her that you know he apologized. And I love that. I really love how the black men in this show um, do have like that kind of like they're not afraid to say I'm sorry. They're not afraid to show their feelings. Mm-hmm. We didn't like get that. much of them this 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 episode, but I was also kind of like taken aback by Sandy's uh very eager to leave him to leave matt and like run to renee when she sent him the sos text like what are your thoughts on that uh yeah i mean she shouldn't have been the one to call <laughs> like, renee, i don't know i'm not really a fan of renee right now renee is just like i'm just not she's not giving at all that would be like the last resort period but then again there's not too many options no, right now. <laughs> no. I, I, I'm feeling you on that. I'm not really. A, I don't know. I feel like they made Renee so ditzy. Like she's so intelligent. She's so boss. Like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But they're making her so ditzy, and I'm mm-hmm. not sure. I like the comedic element that mm-hmm. you know is it, is surrounding her character. Mm-hmm. <sighs> It's Me just, either with the aggression of like her trying to rekindle with Jason and saying the cabinet, right. like it was just, it was just, she was just everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like, I'm a strong black woman. I'm trying to get this business going. If you ain't going to be with me with the partner with that one girl, then I'm just going to run this business by myself. Yeah. You know, and then getting turned down and then, you know, trying to get a booty call with a man that she says she does. She's not inter- interested in. Right. Like, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I definitely was kind of just very confused with Renee's character this episode because, I mean, I kind of felt those vibes from Abby anyway. No shade, right? But, like, it is what it is. Um, And, you know, you when somebody is not 100% believing in your dream, it is on you to decide whether or not that person should stay or go because this is your dream. This is what you have been working towards. So I do like that she stood up for herself and basically was like, nah, you know. Um, But... Part of me is just like, 
well, you, you're now getting ready to experience what Jason talked to you about, right? And he said, like, it's hard out here being on your own, like, because mm-hmm. now she truly is on her own. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, just like you said, she's all over the place. She calls him to cuss him out because the cabinet is squeaky and, you know <laughs> what I mean? They end up having sex. And that whole scene was just like... It was I, weird to me. I felt a little cringe. From everything, I mean, because he's an attractive man. I mean, I'm just like, okay, finally she got some real D, you know. Right. Yeah. She was over there messing around with the toys while Whitney was hanging around. So I was like, okay, right. girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, but I mean, I mean, tell you, like you, you didn't want him. Say it again. <laughs> oh, we had that vibe. We had that bad Wi-Fi. Had that Wi-Fi jump out. No, I was just saying that she did say, you know, she, this is a man she wanted to divorce, right? Mm-hmm. And um, and then you have that, that that moment where he's telling her he's going to Atlanta. So like, what? Like now you're mad? And and it was so childish. I wrote down in my notes, childish. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. I mean, like if she feels like a connection with Justin, I mean Justin, Jason. <laughs> She should have just tried to like see, well, okay, where, where like when are you gonna come back? You know, what are your plans in Atlanta? You know, I don't know. It was just weird. It was really weird. She's and if it was just a fling, she could have found somebody else. Yeah, because she, but she's not giving those. I, 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 for her character, I don't feel like she's very compromising. I don't feel like she knows how to meet in the middle. I feel like she just wants things her way, and if it's not her way, it's the highway, and it's very like abrupt because you see Jason being so vulnerable and like having these moments and so uh, it's very yeah man I ain't rocking with it Renee is giving me very Aries energy (laughs) you know right and it's crazy because it's like you know that interpretation of angry black woman like really Renee's giving a little bit of that it's like no empathy it's just like whatever I'll just use you as a tool okay like I don't like that at all because, you know, all women ain't like that. (laughs) Right. Yeah, it's giving very much like, I don't, I don't, well, I won't say she doesn't care. I think she's just trying to mask her feelings right now. And I think that that's, that's a real reality for a lot of people is like, instead of saying like, oh, I love you and I care about you and I want you back after I told you I didn't want you and I asked for a divorce. Like mm-hmm. that's real tricky because now you depending on how you think somebody else holds all the chips, you know, they hold all the cards. And so, um it's I'm, that I'm, pride. I'm, yeah, yep. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly what it is. It's pride, yeah, for sure. So uh I'm interested to see how what these next few episodes are gonna look like because child honey, they right. need to do something with Renee and I hope Whitney takes her ass back to work. Um, and you know, and that Sandy can start, it's weird. Cause I feel like sometimes she doesn't speak up for herself. <laughs> I think cause it's like, she doesn't know what that could do. Or maybe she would have to like pull Naomi aside, or she probably doesn't even want to open up that can of worms because mm-hmm. everything is just fine as it is right now. So it's just kind of like, she's just taking it day by day and just riding the wave. Because when you do start digging and start picking, it's just like you poking the bear. Mm-hmm. You don't know how it's going to turn out. Then you may never see Amari. And then it'll jeopardize um, Matt from seeing his kid. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. it's going to look like she's an aggressor. You know, like it's just like she got to tiptoe in this situation because of the fact that she she has a potential future with Matt. Yeah. It's a lot of different things that can that can go awry um, in this situation, but a lot of things that could, could go well too. Because sometimes it is good to set those boundaries and mm-hmm. make it known. So yeah, so I guess we shall see. But listen, guys, in the comments, guys and gals, gals and guys, let us know what y'all think. Like this episode too was a little, you know, it was a little <laughs> iffy for me. Um, tell us how you feeling. What you rocking with the girls? Like who who are you? Who have you been? I'm definitely have I have not been Whitney, but not in that like not in that context. There ain't no ain't no tattoos over here, you know what I mean? Although my tattoos are sporadic, that's not the point. But um yeah, I like can, who I can who say I was you? a little bit of Whitney. Oh really? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I've been with my man for 16 years, but you know, that first five years was on and off, okay? Right, but right. that whole tattoo thing, I did get a little tattoo that, and, and my tattoo was just more so like I wanted to do something without him knowing, but uh-huh. then he ended up like finding out three days later. So I was just Not like, what days. in the world? 
Not 72 it's- hours. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, well, y'all tell us y'all stories. Is it, have y'all ever got a tattoo? Cut your hair, color your hair, because I know those are the common ones. And um, how y'all feeling about your girl Renee? Is she doing the most? Like, what's happening? And what's up with Sandy? Do you feel like Sandy um, should feel the way she feels? Or do you feel more like Naomi should be uh, doing more? You know, um, let us know your thoughts. Um, and, you know, like always, we will be right here back again for another recap for episode number three so until next time y'all peace